As a number of us look for ways to help the thousands upon thousands of flood victims along the Gulf Co Coast, scammers are ready to take advantage of that goodwill. How annoying is that? Uh, whenever a disaster like this happens, it's always good to look out for so-called fake charities. Our friend Frank Frasetto from the Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection is here with some advice. Good morning. Good hey, to see you. Good morning. Good to see you both again. So, so this is the reality, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, in the, the times that we live in right now, we are dealing with this idea of not every charity is real. So so what do you tell people who want to help? I mean, they're preying on our good nature. Yeah, that's exactly right. And it's unfortunate that our generosity is uh, taken advantage of by these uh, crooks and scammers that are out there. And of course, they're going to use really any advantage they possibly can. And they're going to be trying to contact you by phone, uh, by email, by online opportunities. And really what we try to tell people is to really do your research. Um, Look at things with a, a keen eye, if you will. For example, if something pops up uh, and claims they're a charity, look at the is it .org or is it .com, because most legitimate charities use .org. That's one thing. Uh, another thing you might want to do is ask a lot of questions about uh, what it is they're trying to do with the money that you're going to be donating. Is it going to be administrative, or is it going to be uh, going toward the people that they're intending to serve? And then, obviously, you may want to take advantage of those charities that you know and you trust, uh, the United Way, the uh, Army, Salvation Army, uh, those organizations that have been around that have been working in disasters for a long time. You said, uh, uh, you mentioned calls, but where are we seeing a lot of these charities pop up? I mean, I, I know there's probably endless on GoFundMe and, and all these kind of crowdsourcing sites as well. How do we weed through all of this? Well, there isn't really a primary source. They're, yeah. you know, they're using all means at their disposal. So really, it's a, a consumer needs to really pay attention to whatever the solicitation is and whatever means it's coming your way. That's really the bottom line. So my dad always likes to say, it drives my mom crazy when he says this, <laughs> but he always says, never make a decision today that you can make tomorrow because you'll know more tomorrow than you do today. There's no reason anybody should be forced into making an immediate judgment on something along these lines, right? Absolutely. A legitimate charity is going to provide you as much information as you're asking of it. Those that are not are going to be very aggressive and are going to be demanding uh, you to take action right away. They're preying on your emotional state of mind. And obviously, if somebody is asking you to wire money, yeah. that's one thing you mm -hmm. want to avoid at all costs, because once you wire it, it's gone. And, and that offer that's going to be there today is going to be there tomorrow. <laughs> Absolutely, too. right. Yeah. And from a consumer standpoint, these questions that you were telling us to ask to make sure we verify a charity, we should be asking these questions anyway as consumers, you know, donating here, it seems like. That's right. Getting as much information as you can to make an informed decision is very, very important. The other thing you can do is go to the uh, website for the Department of Financial Institutions because most uh, charitable organizations have to uh, register in the state of Wisconsin. So you can do your research that way. Go to give.org, go to uh, charitynavigator.org. Again, you're doing some research on your own in order to find out whether or not you're dealing with a legitimate organization. Good advice. Mm -hmm. Good luck dealing with the bad guys. Yeah. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thanks, Thank Danica. You for Thank you.